stop interrupting him. Now, how do we do this? Most of us do this unknowingly or unconsciously. We do this when we constantly try to figure things out or put our hands in something or continue to ask the same questions over and over and over again after the Lord has already answered you. This is interrupting God. And God is saying, you've got to stop doing that. You've got to get to a place where you trust him more than you worry. Of course, we know worry will come, fear will come, doubt will come. This is something we say all the time here, Rising Ground. But what is dominating your thoughts? What is leading your decisions? And if you allow your emotions or if you allow the things of the world to start to dictate you, then you interrupt God. You keep putting your hand in it. The Lord had that word about stop being nosy. You continue to stick your nose in things that God is already working on. Because when you do that, you're saying, God, I don't trust you. That's in essence what we're saying when we do it. You're saying, God, I don't trust you. So you keep trying to figure it out. The Lord, look, the Lord is doing what only he can do. When you're trying to understand it, you won't understand it. The ways, the thoughts of God are higher than ours. The Lord has said that his ways and thoughts are higher. So that means that there are things that we just won't understand until we do, until he releases it, until he makes it clear to us, until he wants us to know more about it. But in the meanwhile, stop interrupting him. He is at work. There is a process. There is a schedule. There is his perfect timing to these things. And most of the time, it's not our timing. God will give you strength. He will renew you. He will help you to stay focused. He will turn your direction back to him when you get off course, when you're looking to him and you're saying, look, God, I've gotten off course. I've gotten off track some kind of way. I've been interrupting you. I'm trying to work this out myself. Forgive me, Lord. Put me back on the right track. When that is your heart and that's what you say, God will do that. But you have to even be aware that you're interrupting God in order to stop it. So receive this word today. God is serious about this. He's saying, stop interrupting him. Y'all got to stop doing it. Now, how else do you interrupt the flow of God, the hand of God that's already at work in your life? By complaining. By complaining. Every time you say, I'm so tired of this. I can't take any more. I want to give up. Then you're then you're pausing and interrupting what God is already doing. He's already at work. He's already in the process of doing it. You're in the process of receiving it. So if that is something that you find yourself doing, you don't have to beat yourself up about it, okay? There's no condemnation in Christ, but there is awareness. And we have the opportunity to choose something different. So